Thanks for watching our new video. We're at the piano workshop. We used to show you a lot of tools. And today we show you tools, how we can substitute them. We use screwdrivers, we use hammers, we use pliers, and most of them you can substitute. What I mean, we got plenty of screwdrivers, big ones, like middle size, smaller, and really small ones. Sometimes you can substitute them uh, using uh, different screwdrivers for different screws. Sometimes not. For instance, if you got, uh, let's say, star, uh, it goes only to the star. Or square ones, you go only square. Uh, but uh, there are some other tools, like wrenches. You can substitute them with the pliers, and technicians do that uh, a lot of time. Or you can use these wrenches. Uh, on uh, more complicated tools, you still can substitute it. For instance, I show you the stringing station, right? You've seen how it's easy to work, but you can use it raw without any tool. You can use the coils and pull the wire by your hands. It means you still can restring the piano. And we got a lot of other tools that we can substitute like hammer heads, they different sizes. You can use different uh, of the hammer heads. Uh, even some more complicated tools uh, that use straight the jack uh, repetition level, uh, you can substitute them, uh, putting them on a different edges. But there are tools that you cannot substitute. And I want to show you one of them. Uh, when you string the piano, you notice that sometimes the spring wire that we apply, use for the pianos, they change in direction. And when they change direction, they create the curve. It's okay if it is curved on non-working part of the uh, string, but if it's on working part of the strings, it might create false beats. And you have to straight the strings on the places where they change the direction. And one of the tools uh, I show you, this one, or uh, we have the tool I show you here, it's a hook. Uh, you can use this hook uh, in a tenor section to uh, eliminate this uh, curve on the string by lifting. I want to just uh, come to uh, the piano and show you how uh, technicians work with the hook. But this tool, it's a different, and uh, um, you need this particular tool to eliminate this curve. Let me show you on the piano. We're in the front of Stanway piano. It's been restrung, and uh, as you see, uh, the strings change the direction here. Some of them go down, some go flat, then they change direction on the bridges, and uh, I just want to show you uh, what's happened when the string changed the direction. But let's say I, I got a piece of uh, piano wire, right? And I try to change direction by pliers. And you see, it's create the curve right by the pliers. That's why here on the piano, when it's changed direction, it's created the curve here, right, right on the edge here uh, by the egg ribs. Uh, what it caused? It cause uh, false beats. It cause might be some disturbance on the sound or just different uh, uh, adds different partials on the sound. Anyway, what uh, technicians do, and of course I can do it, the same thing, by using this tool, it's a hook. You see, it's very just nice built, nice handle. And what you do? And uh, with this tool, you catch the string, each one, by the air graph on your working position and lift it up. And that's how you uh, affect the curve. You can eliminate it. Of course, it needs a little skills and probably not that you'll be able to do it perfect, but still you just try your best. And you can do it in this section because you got access here. 
And of course, you can do it in the bass strings too. But when it uh, gets to the high treble section, and we got this uh, bars, right? Uh, couple bars. You got no access, or it's very limited because it's wide here. Uh, you cannot pull it on these distances because the strings is short and you really damage it. It's just, it's not acceptable to use this hook in these sections. That's why I designed this tool. As you see, it's a, a, it's a level. It's a very simple tool. Uh, inside this channel, we got a metal uh, brass uh, rod and on the tip, you see, it's a drill bit because you need a heavy uh, metal here. You see, it's lifted and you can push all th uh, three strings simultaneously. Uh, how you do it? You get it inside the piano, right? It's under the pin block and you get it on the position. And as you see, I can find the place, of course, you can go straight first to the bar and you got, you cannot move it, but then you slightly, you see, it moves up and down. And then you slightly move it towards the working, right a little bit of the bar. And then you can eliminate this curve. That's how you do it. And then each one individually. That's a very essential for the clear, nice sound and increase the sustain too. Yeah, I recommend everybody to make like this tool. Of course, you might have it already, one like this. That's why you don't have to do it. But without this tool, I don't know how else you can do it. And uh, from my point of view, it's no substitution for this tool. And uh, I wish you to make one and get a good job. Thanks for watching.